Vengeance of Hope. I'll have to go with the painful way. That was for last time. For you, ever bloodthirsty god of war. Where there's violence, there's Lord Ares. That's one more prophecy fulfilled. Might help. Should help me gain more darkness. Myself. What just happened? Matched eyes. You save it for yourself. You have a mirror in your chambers, don't you? I have both my parents' eyes. For you, my cousin Zagreus, I wish to offer the most potent of the blessings I am able to bestow. Make wise your use of this and rise toward us. Ooh, good. I'm ever grateful that my journeys through the underworld mean that we can get to know each other, Master Chaos. Repeated generosity with me is starting to become a bit predictable. And yet somehow, I nonetheless appreciate it still. How very odd. I was at times uncharitable with the goddess Nyx when we were closer so long ago. After she bore her first children, I nevertheless expected her attention to remain undivided. I kept creating. When finally I slowed, I realized my mistake, and that our connection had been severed by that point. Think I've got one. The knucklehead. Ringers. Oh, 
suppose even down in the underworld you would have heard such tales of me, young man. They're all untrue, <laughs> except the tales of my bravery. Those are completely accurate, though all too modest in most cases, I must say. The might of the heavens. Everybody down there by now, yeah? Doling out nectars left and right, just livening the place right up. Man, because I thought that we were getting on just fine, better than fine, but this... Still mates, right Dionysus? I guess he's upset. You win this time, and I am good as grapes. herself, or so I hear. I sprang from Thea, whoever she was. And I once bore a child, too. Long gone. Her mother's work. Isn't it such a waste? of the underworld, this is your chance.
surprise. Sisyphus, I meant to ask, where are you getting all this stuff you give to me? You must be pretty well connected around here. Oh, well, you know, I have acquaintances amongst the locals here. Try to be neighborly with everyone is all. It's not just Baldy and myself, as you can see. Sometimes I come across things that would be better off in other hands than mine. Say no more. Thanks. Um, Baldy, I'm Zagreus. Good to make your acquaintance. I know that friends are difficult to come by here in Tartarus, and so I'm grateful that you seem to be a trusty one. I, uh, okay. Within the Lots of wretchedness to go around, I guess. father. Which one? Next floor. Check. souls across the borders of your father's land it's good to have the chance to help somebody out the other way
bugger off. some other time learning as I'm in a bit of a rush.
don't come back. Crossed through all the Asphodel's defenses. Onward then. Clear. Fields of Elysium. Worthless. Shields.
Amid Elysium's moss-covered chambers, carved of stone, stand untold numbers of eternal monuments in tribute to the greatest heroes which mortality can offer. There. This place is near as gloomy as the house. Ah, a means to drown my sorrows temporarily. That's good. And rather kind of you, I have to say. It's nothing. Thank you for not trying to slay me where I stand and boast about it, like seemingly everyone else around here. So, stranger, how goes willful disobedience of late? Would that I, too, had it within me to defy the gods. Oh, you know, it's going. That I've been able to make it this far means I'm getting somewhere, I suppose. No thanks to all your brethren in Elysium. No use trying to reason with my brethren here. Many of the shades whom you've encountered, why, I watched them throw away their lives when they were men. Yet still they seek to prove to one another and themselves that they are great warriors. hewn constructions of Elysium exist places of peace so utterly serene and absolute as mortal kind is seldom to experience during the average short and often painful coil. Is this really as good as it gets for mortal kind? Got a bite. It's a cop. that no high intellect could come from there. Please do not mind the Lady Demeter's good-natured sense of humor, Zagreus. She and my father often like to jest with one another, even in the most difficult times. Desolation. Doing business. Waste not more words with this one, King. Let's fight. Oh, demon! You vanquished even faster than you've come to it. Show it.
this ought to help for sure. Good. Ground floor. Should be useful. mate. for me.
the storage. Oh, what's in this stuff? We should be able to get back through here. Maybe I should check the other passageways before I leave. For another go. I thought you might arrive right about now. Then let us have our fight.
work right now. That won't be working here. I'll tolerate no more of this one. Athena, I shall protect you, cousin. to his mother's cottage in the cold. Loudly speaking, Zagreus calls out to hear the echo of his voice, the blast of sound, causing a substantive amount of ice and snow to break off from a nearby mountaintop and fall, and fall, and... Oh, no! Please, everybody, hold your applause. Where's our court musician? Thank you for waiting. Head chef. Till next time. To check the garden. Let's go with this one. Let me see you now for what you truly are. Chaos. Reveal your secrets. What's all that racket over there? Done. You know, Skelly, I still cannot entirely get over that whole permanently kill you stunt you pulled on me. You had me deeply worried for a while, all for just a laugh. Yeah, that's right. Not exactly much to do here, in case you hadn't noticed recently. Good thing I'm able to stay occupied with intellectual pursuits. That's what you call it, then. In any case, I did want to make sure. 
You show that you're all right having to stand around like this. You kidding, pal? This is the life. Imagine getting paid to stand around and being pals with you. Well, great, I guess. Time to break out again. Why have you? You procured the raw of fishing, I detect. Fine handiwork, if I say so myself. Its line is nigh invisible and causes denizens of my domain to flock to it like mortals to temples of mine. Good fortune! Cheers, Uncle. Numbskulls. Take it. See you further still. More bloodshed then. Things maybe.
this. my kin for war shall come to you no matter what as i shall presently reveal aries forgive me let's give him a show then simply cannot remain discontented for too long. Ladies. And check. Love that sulfur smell. Not 
bad enough yet. There we go. Want to bring you in on something, boss? The reason that Uncle Poseidon got to you before I did is, I let him. He's under the impression he's as spry as ever. Moving right along. Don't make me laugh. That's quite enough. Thank you, Father. From long ago, young man. I have no more need of it, of course. But how you found it, you shall have to tell me once you're here.
guess I get a break. this learning. It's little wonder all existence sprang from you, because I see the noble qualities in so many I've met embodied in you. Please accept this gift. If it is unclear yet, son of Hades, I shall not be given more to you in exchange for your repeated offerings. You give them to me knowing it shall serve no purpose and achieve no end. I know that there are some among both mortals and your kind, for whom this is quite unacceptable. reaches of this world. That was the last they saw of me as well. You were dissimilar from them, and I feel safe communicating thus with you.
face to face. Until such time, however, this old means of keeping touch shall have to do. So you take care now, hmm?
matter what my kin. But even still, I am dismayed you would have sided against me. Sorry, Lord Ares. He's angry now. to say to one another hellspawn other than to battle
it should help. I'll take it. that there are times I wish I could have been acquainted with your father somewhat more, if you'll forgive my saying so. My father and my uncle here, they are predisposed quite differently than I. Perhaps if you were not so odd and made more effort to be somewhat more approachable, Ares, then we'd have more in common, you and I. Should you need any tips on that, why, you just let me know.
for me. Extra blessing. Never late, Father. I trust you have retained enough of your strength through this ordeal to make this worth our while.
Imagine that Prince Zagreus experiences some sort of joyous outcome for a change, in contrast to the arbitrary and unfortunately painful death he shall experience now. Did pretty well that time. Wait, so what's all this about you working here? I thought they fired you and that was why you left. Hypnos, you think all these times I've died, it's because I was upset I was let go from a miserable job. Why else? There you are. Hey, listen a moment, lad. I require your discretion with regards to whom we spoke about last time. The shade you met with at Elysium. I understand. What can I do about this, sir? It must be something, but you have to let me know what's going on. Simply put, he is the reason that I'm here. Patroclus lost his life before I did, because of me. I shortly followed in a rage. When I arrived here, I received a hero's welcome. Your father himself ushered me to Elysium, but that's not what I wanted. You wanted to see Patroclus, but he's in Elysium while you... Oh, no. I signed a pact, lad. Felt the terms were good enough. He could live there, while I'd live here, at least for now. Such deals are most uncommon, and their confidentiality must be upheld. But let's speak no more of this for now, all right? Some other time. All right. Those shades are always milling about. You don't like it when I pet your other heads, huh? No. Hey, did you see, boy? The old lounge is good as new again. You ought to check it out. Just don't annihilate it like you did last time. Each savage countenance of Cerberus lights up to hear the news, doubtless beginning to assemble stratagems for ravaging the lounging area once more. Don't even think about it, boy. Regarding your responsibilities, our resources director is available to you in my private quarters. Normally, it would be I alone transferring excess resources back into our realm. The fabled resources director. 
so now I get to give away the hard-earned resources I've painstakingly gathered over time. You get to do precisely that. It is not necessary that you do. But if you wish to rise above your current station, you shall do it. What's the point in rising above my current station? I thought our work was to be done in secrecy. It is. There is no point but pride, and pride is dangerous. Do what you will. I care not as long as everything gets adequately done. Sounds great. Here you go. This elegant countenance should look perfect above a roaring inferno in the hall back there. The climate in this house is perfectly attuned as it is. Let's go ahead with this again. You said that it was one of life's injustices that Eurydice doesn't get her fair share of the credit for the songs she wrote. Isn't there something we can do? Why, I don't know, my friend. Once people set their minds to certain things, it can be difficult to show them other possibilities exist. What's to be done? I don't know. Tell them they're wrong? Politely, perhaps not? Or tell them what's right? Get the word out about what's right? Can't we do that? Get the word out. But I am court musician of this house. My songs no longer reach too many ears. Although, I do suppose all of these shades about. They are my audience as well. I shall make certain that they know whose songs I sing. Then word will spread. I'm sure of it. Um, Prince Zagreus? I just wanted to say something. If you have a little time... I know you're really busy. I can come back. Wait, no, now's fine, of course. What is it, Dusa? I'm not so busy, by the way, and always happy to check in. Wait, is something wrong? No, 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 no. It's just the opposite. I can't believe you helped me with the lounge. I don't think anyone has ever helped me out like you did, cleaning up after Cerberus and the new rug and the kitchen and just all of this. It was my pleasure, really. All of us use the lounge, don't we? This house can really be a lot, but in the lounge here, things are easier a bit, I think. I'm so glad we have you watching over it. You, you really mean that, Prince? But you don't know what this means to me. I'm finally caught up on work. What am I going to do? I, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with all this extra time. I have to go and plan everything out. Take care now. What's cooking? Totally worth it. So if there's anything that I can do for you, Nix, you need but ask, all right? I plan to pull my weight. Your services were always welcome here. Please acclimate yourself at your own rate. I am available to answer any questions you may have at any time. Thank you, my friend. I have to tell you, it's good to be back. Mm. The prophecy has been fulfilled. Deuce has got everything under control, I hope. Guess I have been rather busy as of late. Blade.
Let's see what happens. The gods have spoken. Nephew! I'm mightily impressed with your ability to call those rivers there of all the denizens of my domain. Your crusty father's not entitled to the bounties of the sea. But on my limitless authority, you are. You have my rod of fishing. Now have this. What is this? All right, let's catch some fish. What lurks in the river sticks? Come on up. I caught a knucklehead. Numbskulls. Good night. This won't end well for you. Lots and lots of preparation, man. Or maybe just having to improvise, you know? in here. shape and spirits on Olympus here. You think you can just walk away from here? Oh, this is trouble.
good enough to eat. I can't do that. What's your wish there, boy? So Skelly, don't need to tell me twice. Fury Sisters.
Until next time, Tartarus. Got it. Master Chaos. My father personally takes it upon himself to stop me in the event none of his underlings beat him to it. He can be a handful. Well then, consider bringing to one of your future interactions the small round catalyst which I provided you. The one in the shape you call an egg. It shall serve no purpose there at all. Yet if you succeed, then it shall bring us some amusement, shall it not? Um, yes? Was I supposed to respond there? So shall it be. I wanted to thank you once again for this enchanted acorn that you gave me. So this is what plants and things grow from up on the surface? Oh, not just any plants, hon. Trees. Big gnarled oaks and things. Some of them live hundreds of years. Way up there as mortals go. You take good care of it like that. Maybe it'll grow to be something special for you too. Coming right up. Hmm, cheers. Bye now. Smooth sailing. Skelly? Uh, hey guys. Certainly you've the wherewithal to thin the ranks of the betraying river denizens who fled my surface seas to your father's domain. I bid you good fish hunting forevermore. Who felt that?
exactly what you're up to, cuz, but if I did, I don't think anybody in Olympus is aware of it. Or, if they are, they're keeping their mouths shut, the same as me. What else we got? Godspeed. Where to? Me, Lenny, and I missed you too. Learny dear. Denizens of the deep, arise. Fish. Just a crustacean.
check. Time to pick a fight. has a new effect. Jeez. instead of me given the choice there little Hades but don't you ever bet against this horse I'm sorry uncle looks like I can get him
enough of that, correct? You're pretty good. So here, why don't you run along? Let's make some waves, right, Uncle? butterflies. Did she? Sounds exactly like something she'd do. She has a knack for trouble. So let's just stay focused here.
this chamber. Delicious. Cheers, mate. Victory to you, good shade. Happy to entertain you, shades. Must I send Cerberus to block your path again? Courtesy of the pact.
going. Can't quite get acclimated to this smell. Sata sack already. for one good boy. Here's the fee. Good enough to eat.
Mate. Cerberus move. Bye for now, boy. Think you can beat me this time, Father? You have circumvented all of my security measures again. But can you get through me? Receptive to this form of discipline. 
discipline, is that what we're calling it? Shite. Gods. I thought the killings taught you to be quick. Complicated is the path to the well-hidden cottage of Persephone, that surface walking Zagreus. On this particular occasion, sadly zigs instead of zags, plummeting from off a precipice into most familiar waters. Gah! Please, everybody, hold your applause. Enjoying staring at that bowl I got you, boy. No fun if it doesn't fight back, huh? <laughs> the hell-forged, multi-headed monster feels no urgency to waste his precious time on simple playthings, much preferring to conserve his vast energy reserves in case any trespassers need to be eaten suddenly. Well, it's there if you change your mind. Hey, did you see? Somebody got me this incredible new sleeper seat right here. Though I would never lie down while on the job. I'm perfectly all right sleeping while standing up. Well, there it is, in case you change your mind. Oh, yes. Over here. As you may know, lad, I have a connection to the weapons that you use, having once wielded one of them myself. Of course, not knowing its significance back then, but I digress. Sometimes it, well, it keeps in touch, and I have a vision from it to impart. What, you mean a vision from Varatha, the Eternal Spear? That's out of the ordinary, and also a bit concerning. So what did you see? Well, I saw a great bearded warrior, bigger than me, pitch black hair, bearing an aspect of Varatha unlike any with which I'm familiar. Then he was gone, but what still lingered were these words. I see you through the eyes of the Crimson Phoenix. I see you through the eyes of the Crimson Phoenix. I don't understand. What's that? There's one more thing. This was not my first such vision. Long ago, I saw one of Varatha's other bearers. It was you. 
Your infernal arms. They must be weapons of the fate's design. They know already who shall brandish them. Now they ask a favor. Seek Varatha. Speak the words. Go. I see you through the eyes of the Crimson Phoenix. Nix, if hypothetically I felt that some injustice had been dealt to someone who deserved a better lot, say, that they were subjected to too harsh a punishment for all eternity, don't I have some of my father's authority to do something about it? Now that you have regained your access privileges to the administrative chamber, child, yes, that is the level of authority you hypothetically possess again. But how can I possibly find anything in there? The place is wall-to-wall -wall packed in parchments. I have no idea where to look. You can be made aware, though use discretion if and when you need to exercise this power, and make certain that the time is right. No. Yes, we are. The head chef always wants fish. Cooking's one way to pass the time. Here's what I caught. Done deal. Contractor, I have another job. I've not seen the famous Heracles about, and so let's have a marble effigy of him instead. What am I composed entirely of gemstones? You, your Highness! Well, be that as it may. If they pester you at all, do let me know and I shall have them dealt with quickly. Oh, Hades. I think the shades around here have been through enough as it is. I don't mind them. After all the time I spent on my own, having some company has been a welcome change. You are certain all your needs have been provided for? Because if there's anything that you require... Require? Look at this place, Hades. Look at me. I have everything. And so do you. Try not to worry quite so much. And be patient with your son. That's all I ask. Persephone, I cannot promise you such things. They're not my strengths. Besides, I have a reputation to uphold. God of the dead. If the wretches do not fear me, or you for that matter, what then? I'm not going to tell you how to balance your work, your marriage, and your parental responsibilities. I don't think anybody on Olympus or below knows quite how best to manage that. So long as we do our best. Our best. That I can promise you. That definitely came to pass. Chiron must have made a fortune off of me. I shall procure all the fishes. <laughs> 